here I am in front of the CCNB shelter. As you can see, I'm in the process of getting dressed and you're kind of wondering, you know, why am I in a suit? Well, I'll be going up to Capitol Hill to talk to Congressman John Conyers, the, the, who was the lawyer for MLK Jr. And he and I and many other people will be talking about getting jobs and job training for everyone in the country. And John Conyers is saying that he doesn't want to stop at 4% unemployment, but he wants to get everybody employed who, who wants a job. And so now I'm going to throw you over to Steve Thomas so you can hear what he has to say about a local program, Mayor, Mayor Vincent Gray's One Hire program. Better believe Steve here. Good day. As usual, I'm, I'm coming to you with some groundbreaking information. The mayor just found $2 million for one hire program here in the district to employ those that are experiencing unemployment at the present time. That includes me, but I wonder if I'll be considered. I'll go through everything I have to go through. I'll do my part, but I'm not really encouraged right now, you know. Right now, I'm kind of uh, beat up. Uh, I've got over 150 job applications out there and nobody's even given me a call. And my most recent application uh, to UPO to just be a seasonal drive and pass out blankets to the homeless in the community, uh, they turned me down and told me that they removed me from consideration. Me, better believe Steve, you've seen my work the last three years. I have a CDL Class A driver's license and, and I'm, I qualify for the position, but yet I wasn't given a position or considered for a position out of 25 hires. And that bothers me, which leads me back to the mayor's initiative for the one hire, the $2 million. Of that $2 million, how many in the homeless community, like myself, are going to be eligible or going to be offered any of those jobs? I'm curious to know that because. Now, now, don't get me wrong when I say this. I have no problem with the work being done for ex-offenders, our returning citizens. Okay? Uh, a couple of years ago, the mayor opened up a computer uh, or, or library, let's say, over DC jail form, and they've done excellent work for our returning citizens. My ask is for the same thing, that you put this exact same effort into those of us experiencing homelessness. Okay, I'm sure if I was to ask anybody uh, down DOES, and this is at you, uh, Ms. Mallory, if I was to ask you how many people were hired that were ex-offenders, that you would be able to give me that number right off the top of your head because you keep stats, statistics on those people. But if I was to ask you how many people you've employed over the last year, that was homeless, you wouldn't be able to give me that stat. So my ask to you, Ms. Mallory, is that in this one higher initiative, that we earmark somewhere between 15 and 25 jobs, specifically to the homeless, and we track them. We track them from the very beginning, okay? And we see and we record where they stumble, if they stumble. In a year, we'll be able to know five dropped out because of, let's say, transportation needs or, or personal problems, but five succeeded. And, you know, we could have measurables in all of your contracts. You're always talking about measurables, okay? So we at Streets, we have a program in place to track the homeless population and their achievements and their downfalls, you know? Uh, and, and I'm particularly concerned with, I have a particular interest in the service providers in this city, the ones that are getting money to serve the homeless population. How many jobs do they have and how many of those jobs are offered to the homeless population? Case in point, now I'm going to get real selfish on this one because I'm kind of pissed, okay? The job that I didn't get at UPO. There's no way in the world that I feel that though I should have been excluded, that I should have been excluded 
Now, it's one thing not to get a job because competitively someone else was more qualified for, than me. But for them to tell me that I was removed from consideration, I have to wonder why. Okay? This city gives UPO money to serve the homeless community. Okay? And are they doing it? So we at Streets, we plan on looking into some of these other service providers and seeing how many opportunities they have or that they present to the homeless community. Case in point, I have before me right here a job listing. Now I'm not going to say what service provider this listing is for, but in this listing are several janitorial positions. Now surely, out of the shelter system in this city, of the homeless community, surely there's a qualified janitor. And you have four positions here, I'm sure you can get all four of those positions filled in the homeless community. Why aren't we looking into the shelters, into the homeless community as a viable labor pool? So I'm challenging you, uh, 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 Mayor Gray, Lisa Mowry, so let's come to the table, let's have a meeting, let's talk about how we can incorporate the homeless community into the One Hire Initiative in this city. And as usual, I look forward to hearing from you, and you better believe, Steve. Well, thank you for that, Steve. And Mayor Gray, now here I am on Capitol Hill to talk about getting jobs and job training for everybody across the country. because. Congress wants to stop at 4% unemployment and, and not worry about hiring anybody else. And so we're saying everybody needs a job. But while I'm out here fighting for jobs for everybody in the entire nation, let's make D.C. a prime example of what can be done. That all we're asking is that you get 15 to 25 homeless people out of D.C. shelters. We have almost 7,000 people in D.C. And I'm sure that out of those 7,000 homeless people, we can get 15 to 25 people out of shelter and into your One Hire program and track them from beginning to end and, and really check their success. And then when that works, we can spread it to the, the eons of homeless people that we have here in D.C. So that's all we're asking for. It's a very small ask. It's a fraction of a percentage of the homeless community here in D.C., just 15 to 25 homeless people. Can you do that for us? 